New Taipei Mayor Ho Yo Yi has been one to watch in this referendum campaign because of what he isn't doing for his party. The KMT mayor has stayed conspicuously silent on the four questions on the ballot, even as his party mobilizes hard for yes votes. Late Monday evening, Ho published a social media post titled, My Views on the Referendum. But some say the post raises more questions than it answers. New Taipei Mayor Ho Yo Yi attended a festival at Shulin District Tuesday morning. He was questioned about his lengthy Facebook post the night before. In it, he shared thoughts about the upcoming referendum without making it clear where he stood. All I meant to convey was the core value of making decisions based on rationality, science, evidence, and the attitude that the people are the masters of the nation. We must all be considerate and tolerant of others and respect the right for people to decide. Let the public make its own decisions. Let us all undertake this responsibility with courage and put our whole selves into it. In his Facebook post, Ho said that referendums had gone from a democratic exercise into a polarizing black and white affair. He said the referendum had become like an election and that, quote, I believe the people are sick of it already. He stressed that national interest should be the utmost priority and that party politics, factions and self-interest should be left out of the equation. His post met a lukewarm reception from new Taipei councillors. I think that in his 1,000-word essay, Mayor Ho should have been more explicit to let everyone know his general direction. It's written like an essay in Chicken Soup for the Soul. Nobody can make heads or tails of it. As a thought leader or a political leader, his responsibility is to explain the pros and cons to the people. According to new Taipei councillor candidate Zhou Guanting, Ho has sights set on a second mayoral term. Because of this, Zhou said, the mayor is reluctant to fly in the face of public opinion. Zhou said that many people, including himself, did not understand the post. I left a comment on the post saying, like, if you don't understand this post either, in the blink of an eye, the comment had more than 4,000 likes. Premier Su Zhenchang was asked to weigh in. He was asked if Ho was showing signs of defying the KMT in the referendum campaign. Su replied that referendums were a chance to focus solely on the issues. Referendums are about discussing issues, not people. You address each matter independently. For example, even the KMT's Commissioner Lin Zimiao has voiced opposition to restarting nuclear power plant number four. So I ask everyone not to block progress on the natural gas terminal. Voting no is the only way to ensure a stable power supply. Su also addressed a remark by a KMT lawmaker who said the government would not necessarily respect the outcome of the referendum. The Premier stressed that according to the Referendum Act, the results of the referendum were legally binding. He called on the KMT to not distort the facts.